Hello friends, today we're going to look at the pros and cons of being a Trini. Now, every culture, every country, nationality, whatever, has pros and cons to them. You know, good traits, bad traits, and of course all these things are based on opinion. And I'm sure I'll get some flack from some people for some of these. But in the end, and down to earth thinking will make you realize that some of what I'm saying is in fact true. However, I'm looking forward to what you have to say in the comments. Now I'm going to list 12 positive traits that Trini have and I'm going to list 12 not so good traits that Trinis have. And I'm going to do them one after the other so that you can get a gist of the all around nature of Trinis. This might be useful too if you plan to come to Trinidad. I want to get a gist of somebody that is a Trinidadian that I met. Of course not every Trinidadian or Trinbegonian or somebody from Trinidad and Tobago will meet all the standards of these. We are all, of course, individuals, but in general, this is what it's like for most people from here. Now, first of all, let's list the first top positive about Trinis. Now, Trinis are good at do-it-yourself stuff. I mean, it's more than likely that you'll meet a Trini and somehow they have some knowledge of maybe doing a little plumbing, maybe doing a little electrical work or whatever. They seem to be able to you know, be kind of like a jack of all trades and don't necessarily need to be dependent on other people. So they're really good at that part. On the downside, trainees tend to have a lot of island thinking. Well, it is an island, but you know, island thinking can be a, in a way small minded thinking. For instance, there may be a better way to do something. And even though you relate to somebody, they may say, oh, that wouldn't work here. Or they may say, oh, that is the same problem elsewhere. But just because it's the same problem elsewhere doesn't mean it has to be the problem here. There is always a better way to do things. Now, a positive for Trinis is the ability to approach any Trini at any time for help. And that's a really good trait that Trinis have. You could practically stop a Trini on a street or whatever and ask for help. And it's more than likely that they will assist you. Now, I'm not saying it's true for every single person, but it's more than likely, I'd say 95% of the time, somebody will be willing to assist. And I even created a whole separate video about that, where Trinis would more likely help you than somebody probably from abroad. Number two in the worst category is congregating in a line or a cinema. Trinis have this way where they just bunch up together. For instance, the cinema might be empty, right? You're watching a movie, not many people are there, and you go to one seat in the middle of the cinema. And instead of the next Trini that comes in and figures, you know, there's a lot of space, let me sit over here. No, they will come and sit right next to you, and the entire cinema is empty. I just don't understand it. Same with the line, eh? if the line is is um long instead of giving a little space it'll be right up against your back number three for top positive trinis are very creative well of course you know trinidad and tobago is known for its carnival and costumes art music and so forth creativity here abounds uh with art culture singing whatnot and uh trinis are just great at that now on the downside number three is sometimes trinis could be too familiar and what does that mean? Sometimes they, you know, like they just met you and they're already asking your business. Personal questions that, you know, you would reserve for somebody that you know well or a close friend or somebody that you tend to discuss these things with. But, you know, a total stranger, you just met them and already they're asking your bank account number. Number four on the positive side, one thing you can do with a trainee is discuss any issue. No matter how controversial or no matter how politically correct it may be. Sometimes with other countries and other peoples, you have to be kind of on your P's and Q's when you're talking. But trainees are more open to discussing anything. You could bring up any topic and you don't have to feel like, am I using the right words? Am I being politically correct? You know, trainees are more laid back in their thinking and are more welcoming and opening um, of topics. And that's really good. The next one on the other side is staring. I mean, sometimes you will enter a place and all the trainees there will just stare at you. And it's not a stare of intimidation, eh? it's more of curiosity, but they don't do it in a diplomatic way. You know, if somebody, for instance, enters a room or passes by, you kind of give them a glance and then you move on. But no, trainees will watch you and watch you and watch you and stare at you down until you leave. And you that in a way can be intimidating, but you just have to know that's just how trainees are. Now, another good trait about trainees is... You may think, oh, it's just an island, people here don't know nothing. But, you know, Trinis tend to know a lot about travel and other countries more than people even, for instance, in First World Nations. I have talked to people in First World Nations about other countries and they tend to be more isolated in their thinking towards their own country and know very little about outside. But if you talk to a Trini, you'll find maybe they know 
a lot about the states or Canada or England or wh- whatever. And a lot of the times it's maybe because they have relatives in those countries or may have visited those countries. You know, Trinis are travelers. They like to get out there. And that's one good trait about Trinis that you could talk about other countries and other places and they may have an idea of what you're talking about. One downside for Trinis is that they tend to favor most times foreign over local. So if you bring a, a local, it could be a service, a product or whatever, it's more than likely that they, you know, they don't have that sense of patriotism that they will say, you know what, I'm not supporting foreign, I'm going to go strictly local. That's a hard sell here. Most people like foreign goods and it's evident in the economy where there's a huge demand for foreign goods over local stuff. And that, that's a whole topic there by itself, but most of the times they want North American and European stuff. Now, this, this has a two-size set, but I'm putting it under positive. Trinis tend to be laid back. Um, not taking on worries about much or making um, anything a fuss. You know, they like to keep the environment stress-free. So you might find you in a work pay, uh, workplace and let's say you're working with your other comrades or your other associates there. You know, everybody tries to make a little joke here and there, keep everything moving, keep everybody happy. Greetings, you know, and that, in that regard, being laid back is okay because you, you want less stress in whatever you do. And trainees tend to make anything that they do stress-free and, and in some way fun. You know, they want to feel like they're going to work and they will meet their buddies or whatever. They'll crack a joke and so forth. Now, this is uh, something that I talk about a lot, especially in my other videos when I'm visiting place. The littering. That's the real downsize, boy. I mean, a lot of trainees litter. They just tr- throw their trash everywhere. And you can see it you know, as evident in my videos. I know a lot of pe- people give me flack for this. Eh? They will go, let's say, and... and show an area and that area is beautiful and they will just focus on the trees and the nice part that you enter but really on the way to there and around the area of that same place they're recording is lots of trash and i mean it's unsightly how you know i can't imagine going or seeing a brochure for some place to visit and when you get there you just see a set of trash uh something really needs to be done about that and he's thinking of trainees with regards to the environment a positive for trainees is that th- they can surprise you now you might see a guy or a, a gal a lady that's a trainee and you might think oh that's just a regular person they don't you know average joe let's see but they may surprise you that they are a doctor or a lawyer or whatever trainees tend to not put a lot of random onto what they do you know they don't walk around you know, with their nose up in the air, you know, to let everybody know, well, you know, I'm better than you, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, whatever. No, you might find that that same person is hanging out with regular folk, doing regular things. And it's only when you begin talking to them, you realize, oh, this person is um, somebody affluent in society or somebody that has a a degree in this or that. So you you might be surprised. And that's, I guess it's a a humility trait uh, trainees can have. They can surprise. Now, on the downside, um, in talking to trainees, you can find that they may be the experts of talk, but nothing of substance. Now, what do I mean by that? You, they, for instance, they might talk about the war in Ukraine and Russia, but you could you could tell from talking with them that they haven't really done research. They will do they will just talk flippantly about what they heard in the news or whatever, but they won't take a topic and really research it. So they will just give one or two views and they will push that view on you uh, without backing it up with kind, any kind of source material. Now, that's not true for everybody, but I'm talking about in general and small talk. They have that tendency to do that. And I mean, I'm not saying anything is wrong with small talk, but sometimes it focuses on the small talk to the degree that the person doesn't really find out how you are as a person, how you're doing, you know, are you happy today? Are you keeping well? Are you healthy? Those are critical questions rather than just focusing on small talk. Now, on the positive side, trainees connect anywhere. I mean, no matter where in the world they are, you'll always find trainees trying to reach out to other trainees. Now, that might be true for, you might say, for other cultures, but not necessarily. Eh? Um, I have been to other countries and I don't necessarily see other nationalities trying to connect with other nationalities when they go to another country. But for trainees, yes. The, you know, the culture here is so unique that when they go to another country, like let's say North America, they try to reach out to other trainees. You could possibly find a trainee basically anywhere in the world. Now, probably people will give me flack for this, but 
I think on the downside, hygiene is a big issue. Um, I mean, simple things, and I have seen this, huh? Don't, you, you can't argue with what I have seen, and I see it happen a lot, you know, washing your hands, you know, handling money. You know, trainees will, will sometimes eat food, take the, the money, let's say that they paid for it, right? And that money has a lot of germs, people handling money. And with that same hand, without washing the hand, go straight and eat the food. Pick it up, you know, pick up a piece of chicken and put it in their mouth or whatever. I mean, that's... And then, this there's a thing that they do that some... Well, some, I should say some do, where they lick their fingers. And I mean, wow, you know, you're licking your fingers, you're touching money and whatnot. That is a big issue for me. I know not all trainees are like that. So, I know don't jump and tell me, oh, I'm not like that. I'm not talking about specific or specific people. I'm just saying in general, those things are critical issues, hygiene peeing in you know places that they shouldn't just coughing you find somebody just coughing and you're like you're thinking but oh gosh just cover your mouth or go in a corner or use the crook of your, uh, your um, forearm or something but don't just cough like that in the open um in fact uh, illness is a big problem here people get sick very often you're always hearing somebody sick in your office sick in your school sick somewhere now one thing that's positive about trainees is they are pretty proud of their their culture their heritage their background being a trainee that is and that is that they are not afraid to talk about their culture, food, or, you know, who they are as a person that is from Trinidad and Tobago. In other words, you know, if, if a foreigner came down or if they went abroad, it's not like there's some kind of reluctance to say, you know, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago and they kind of keep it hidden. No, they want to broadcast their country, what it's about, their food, and maybe even cook a meal for, for the person interested so they could get a taste. You know, they like sharing their culture. Now, back to the laid back. Um, which I put as a positive for making working environments stress-free. Sometimes it could be too laid back and then things aren't done. You know, you would ask somebody to do something and when you think it's done, um, no, it's not done. And when you go back, it's, it's still not done. And they give you an excuse and an excuse and an excuse and it drags on for a days, then to weeks, then to months, or sometimes even years. I, it's so bad sometimes that, that I even have a series on it on customer service and trial. It is so laid back that that um, people are, have become disgruntled where they just know, you know, customer and service in Trinidad and Tobago is the worst. Now, on a positive side, trainees don't need much to have a good time. I mean, a lot of people f may want to have, you know, feel, oh, in order for us to have a good time, we have to do something specific, we have to go to a specific place and do this or that. But for trainees, they could simply walk out their door, go to the corner, sit down, and just start talking to their friends, having conversation and having fun. And so, in that regard, they know how to make themselves happy fairly quickly without having to really do much. Now, the downside sometimes with trainees is manners. Um, when I was growing up with, as a kid, people uh, had more manners, they were more pleasant, they would say good morning, you know, goodbye, thank you, etc. And while I get that now and again, I have found that this deteriorated a lot in society. So. One downside I would have to say is that manners vary a lot now. And you might tell somebody good morning, they say nothing to you. Don't take it personal. Huh? Sometimes that person's mind is just somewhere else. So that's just not how they were brought up. But that is a trait of trainees. They're not as polite as you might think. Now, this is our top uh, trait for trainees. And nobody could argue with me about that. And that is trainees know how to cook. They can cook very well and they can cook a variety of foods in different spices flavors and so forth and um if you look at the history of cooking a lot of the meals that they have here they were born out of history and the things that a lot of people had to go through because of colonialism and because of the slave trade and what they had access to and various things and because of that they had to come up with all these different ways of preparing food because you know men, much of the time they didn't have all the, ne the necessities of the more affluent in society and in doing so they came up with some fantastic meals that just exist today still and are now part of the culture so generally tr trainees know how to cook and that's both male and female eh? it's not necessarily gender specific way like most cultures where the woman does all the cooking no a lot of the men do a lot of cooking as well now <laughs> this is a downside there's nothing any you know terribly bad but it's, it's just strange in the communication sometimes you will talk with a trainee i'm talking about somebody that you maybe just met or you see in your office but never really had an in-depth conversation with Sometimes they will talk about themselves, their family and their friends as though you know their family and friends. So they might start to say, you know, John this and, and Dick, whatever, and, and Lisa had this and that. And you don't know these people that they are talking about, but they are talking to you as though you know 
these people. And that's just kind of weird with Trinis, but they are like that. They like to share their business. Like I said earlier, where they like to find out their business, but they also like to share a lot of their business in a way as though you know what you're talking about. And oftentimes, you'll hear them talking, you have to stop and say, but, but who's this person? And they explain, huh? knowing that you don't know, but then they continue uh, anyway. That's just kind of funny. Now, one of the last traits here we're going to talk about a positive is that trainees are very humorous. They know how to make fun of the most tragic things or sad things or whatever. Now, that can have a downsize in that you might find it a bit sacrilegious so you may find it inappropriate. But in general, you know, if people want to come together and have a good time, they could they could find tr some trainee that will make a joke and help everybody to laugh. But sometimes it could go too far where it, it isolates on one person and sometimes that could get the person down. But generally, as I said, humor is a big part of Trini culture. Now, the last on the downside is that Trinis simply do not stand up and protest as they ought to. You know, they kind of like take things just as they are and I wish they would protest more. That is the downside of Trinis. You, you know, something is bothering you. Instead of everybody coming together and saying, you know what, we're going to protest this thing or we're going to stop using this product or we're going to do whatever. No, they just stay still and take it after they and they will complain and say, you know, things t terrible or I wish they wouldn't do this or that. But then they don't do anything about it. And that's the sad thing. Now, I'm not saying to do anything illegal or bad, but I'm saying that Trinis need to open them out and ex express their displeasure at what is going on around them and show it. You know, protest. It's your legal right ways to protest and let people know that you're not happy. So these are the top traits of Trinis, both good and bad. Let me know what you think in the comments area. Let me know some that you thought I forgot or what you thought, but do it all constructively. These are just my thoughts and opinions. I'm sure you have yours. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for free on JB's Man Cave.